What's up, YouTube? Geek or Father here. Um, how you doing? Uh, this is a Walking Dead episode, season seven, episode three review. Quatre, trois, three. All of those good things. Um, before I start, I just want to show you a couple of new additions to the office. Um, in case you missed them, if you care. So first, there's Buck, Sergeant Buck. Before he was a uh, Spartan, he's an ODST that come out of the Halo legendary loot crate. Um, so very happy with that. I was around my mum's today, Negan. Look how appropriate am I dressed? This thing, uh, I was around my mum's and uh, I remember I had it. Um, someone gave me this when I was at work for nothing. So bonus to me. But there's a Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War 1. And he's leaning on a lance. I've been down in some rubble, Gears of War. Yeah, so that's up there on the shelf with some of my books. Looking quite evil. But let's get to it. So episode one is all about gore, guts, death. Abraham and Glenn died. And Rick got put in his place and basically nearly had to cut his son's arm off and then um, kind of submit to Negan. Although whether or not he's actually going to do that is a different thing. Episode two was all about catching up with uh, Morgan and um, Carol in the kingdom. And it's where you met King Ezekiel. Um, so, so two very opposite, polar opposites um, in terms of the, the, the pace, the speed and the content of the episodes. Episode three, we go over to um, Negan's encampment, uh, the Saviors. And uh, we, 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 we see that, we we'll see what's going on in there. Um, basically, the episode mostly uh, is focused on Daryl, that's where Daryl's being kept. He got taken away by Negan and the guys there. Um, and it focuses on, on, on what they're doing to him and how they're doing it to him. So uh, he's been kept in a little room with no light, no furniture, anything like that. He's naked at the start and he's just been given dog food sandwiches once a day, I would imagine. Uh, and he's got music constantly playing in his ears. Um, easy street. Welcome to Easy Street. A little little jingle. Um, the idea is to drive him mad uh, and to get him to make a decision about who he is. Um, so you see these guys all making bread and they've got a proper um, proper little community going on. But Negan and his men come first. They take they take what they want. They don't have to queue up for their food. They just barge in and make little sandwiches and stuff. Um, there is a bit of a weird thing going on downstairs, not in my house, I mean in the show. There seems to be like a caged off area with lo loads of zombies. Two guys in sweaters saying A and B, or A and J. And um, they're just moving zombies around. And one of them, they're putting a blue bucket on a zombie's head, shuffling them around a bit, pushing them off and taking the bucket off, then walking away. I really don't understand what that is. Um, so I've got a little pack of cards here I'm playing with as I, as I go. I'll show you guys a magic trick. Um, yeah. That's really weird. Uh, but you get... Um, D, who's the saviour with the scarred up face, the blonde one. Fake Daryl, if you like. Um, trying to... Trying to mentally break Daryl uh, to um, to get him to side on Negan's side. Um, so some really good gore and stuff. There's Negan is Negan, ne not Negan, Negan. Negan is a right fucked up motherfucker. He seriously, the actor is doing so well. And as a character, obviously you saw him in the comments and he was fucked up anyway, but brought to life, he is he's literally mental. And, and it turns out Lucille that he's baseball bat uh, Lucille seems to have her own personality, seems to do what she wants to do. 
So if Negan makes a decision, he will generally say, well, Lucille doesn't agree with that. Um, cut a long story short, D goes out of the compound because there's a code orange, which is basically someone's left without Negan's permission. And uh, he's taken some stuff. So D goes to recover that stuff. He's using Daryl's crossbow and he's also using Daryl's bike, which gets fucked up. Um, and, he, and he finds some fucked up, splashed up pile of zombies. And it looks like they've all been dropping off of a bridge. And they've all, all been, like, their legs are broken and they can't move very far. Uh, for me, it's probably one of the best walker scenes there is in the show so far. So many variations of zombie. There's not just hanging jaw. There's one with, that's got burn holes in him and he's got chunks missing. One's arms all backwards and she's grabbing up like that. It's really good, really gory. Um, then he, uh, a couple of zombies drop on his head and he has a fight and he... And he, and he wins, but he's hurt. He comes across the guy that's left. Um, and in the meantime, Daryl escapes his holding cell. But I assume that Negan got his guy to leave the door open on purpose. Uh, and when he gets confronted, he's not scared by Negan at all. He's not making it. This is the most um, vulnerable you've ever seen Daryl. He's sweaty, he's dirty, he, he's basically a mega tramp. He's being given cat food sandwiches um, and the idea is to break him. But Negan points to a couple of his men. He's surrounded and he says, who are you? Negan. Who are you? Negan. Right. You. Negan. They all say, I'm Negan. And he says, that's the point. I've got eyes everywhere. Everyone's Negan. So what's your name? Uh, and he says, Daryl. Uh, and they fuck him up. They beat him up, put him back in his cell. Uh, there's a female character in it who was there when... The others died in season episode one, sorry. And she's trying to help him. She's just trying to give him advice. Don't don't go against what Negan says because you won't um it won't work out well for you. Uh later on in the episode D comes back and takes Daryl in to see Negan in a bedroom or we'll kit that. I don't know if it's his, but Negan says you can have this. There's three ways, there's three doors, there's three ways you can you can go. Um, the best way is for you to say who you are. So who are you? And he doesn't answer. This time he's looking a little bit scared of Lucille. Every time he swings it past him, he's like, backs up a bit. Because he knows what he can do with it. And he knows he's got absolutely no fucking remorse at all. And he will just smash you up in seconds. Um, so he says, who are you? Daryl doesn't answer. He says, I'll ask you one more time. Who are you? Uh, and he says... Uh, Daryl again and uh, Dee's like no, no Negan's like, stop he's made his choice so his life is not going to be easy now um, he's not going to become one of the saviours he's just going to he's just going to carry on living in a little hole eating shit sandwiches stuff like that um, Negan explains his and Dee's relationship and it's really fucked up so Dee had a wife and a sister And Dee asked, sorry, Negan asked Dee's sister to marry him. And she said, I'll think about it. And then you assume that he killed his sister because that's not the right answer. She just said yes. Um, so he's just going to kill Dee instead. But Dee's wife, super hot wife, which is what Negan keeps on saying, Dee's just looking like having to deal with the story, says, I'll marry you if you don't kill Dee. Um... So that's, that happened. Negan married Dee's wife. Who is, we assume, the young lady having a pregnancy test. Um, that's trying to help Daryl. That's what I'm going to assume. There's no officialness. But it's an assumption. Boom. Um, yeah, that's, that's the episode really. Um. So it's you got the first one which was hardcore violence and really setting up Negan and the guys. Second one catching up with some other people and introducing the kingdom and uh, King Ezekiel and Shiva and all of those guys. And the third one just carrying on the story. Uh, really good writing always from Walking Dead. 
Um, fantastic uh, walkers. The variation in the makeup and the uh, prosthetics that they're using. <coughs> Negan continues to uh, be a crazy motherfucker, um, which is really good. And uh, in the comics, Rick never kills Negan. He's got him impri imprisoned. Um, as far as I'm aware, someone correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but in this, I assume they're going to twist it up and, and Rick's going to kill him in some fashion. And I really want to see how he's going to do that. Because he's, he's taking a lot, a lot away from Rick in the group. And I, I assume some more of that group are going to die. Um, Maggie, maybe, because she wants vengeance for Glenn. Um, Eugene, maybe, because Abraham died. It, you know, really good, though. Really good. So if you're watching it, what do you think of it? Have you got any different thoughts from me um, versus mine or against mine or with mine? If you're not watching it, I suggest you do. You can catch up quite quickly. Uh, I know it's six seasons to get to where we are. Six seasons and three episodes. But you can do it if you put some some time into it. Um, that's it from this uh, Walking Dead. I think, as a last thought again, the, the series is legendary... And is well worth watching if you aren't already. Um, but otherwise, thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. I've recently done a bit more of a serious one about sleep apnea. But also I've done, uh, you know, videos um, about a whole different bunch of shit. So please watch watch them where you can. Like and subscribe. You don't see that. I don't even have to point to links anymore. Because I have them in the background. Geek Hall Father. Yeah. Subscribe, yeah, on my YouTube channel. Yeah, push play for them videos. Thank you so much. Um, peace out.